What's going on YouTube, Bird here, and in today's video we are going over 6 of my top legacies. These weapons range from commando to heavy, and these are just my personal favorites that I own. Now before we get into the video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more Fallout 76 content, and let's get into it. So before we get into the demonstrations, a legacy item is an item that can no longer be dropped in Fallout 76. And in this case, it is going to be our explosive energy guns. So, the more you know the better, now let's get into the demonstration. Now the first legacy on our list is a two-shot explosive Tesla rifle. Now this does have a third star, which is a 90% reduced weight, which isn't necessary, but it definitely helps out. Now on my commando guns, I will be running the same perks on all of them, so just get a good look at these real quick. And then whenever I switch to the heavy guns, I will swap them out for heavy gunner perks. For the most part. I'm not of a heavy gunner build, so I don't have them all. But I do have the gist of things that will help out. So, those are those. And I'm going to be testing these out on three different types of targets. We have the super mutants first. Then we have a super mutant behemoth. And then the uh, scorch beast. So y'all can kind of see what it does to different enemies and stuff like that. But with all that being said. Boom. Let's get into it. Now I will say the Tesla rifle, I wish I had a quad explosive one, that way I didn't have to reload as much, because reloading a Tesla rifle takes forever. No lie. But it's still worth it. This is the one I use mostly just to the everyday grind, because it uses less fusion cells than my bloody explosive, uh, my bloody explosive laser, but definitely not as strong, I will say that. Especially in PvP, the BE laser will definitely destroy this. Is there any more? There we go. And after we kill him, we'll move on to the behemoth, or the two around us. One, and... Where yet? Where yet, sir? No super mutant leaves alive! Almost got stuck. Oh, you're a hound, huh? Boom. On to the behemoth. Oh, Mr. Behemoth, wakey wakey, we have some testing to do. And, as you can see guys, that just shredded right through him. Poor guy. I'll let his cousin know later what happened. On to the Scorch Beast. Now we got ourselves a legendary Scorch Beast up there. Come on, shoot him out of the air, hopefully he'll come down here. And we also got a ton of Scorch that's about to surround us. So y'all can see how it uses, how it just destroys anything in its path. And this is going to be the case with most Legacies. Legacies are broken guns, and there's a reason they are taken out of the game. But... They are still on the market, you can still find them, and they are amazing to use, I'm not going to lie. It's unbelievable to see how strong these are against, like, other, like, our normal weapons. It's ridiculous. It's like, how, what made y'all think of putting those in in the first place? But even in air, guys, look how it's just shredding through his health. Come on. Oh, oh, almost. Almost. And you don't have to shoot this in vats again. See? But I do, I am better in vets, so I do like to use it. Boom. Shreds right through the Scorch Beast, even with it being explosive. On to the next gun. Next legacy on my list is the Bloodied Explosive Laser Rifle. This one also has a third star, the 90 reduced weight. But this one is very sentimental to me because it was my very first legacy and I was very first a bloody build. So all in all, this is probably my personal favorite, but let's get into the demonstrations. Now this one is good in vats, of course, of course it is, but where this gun and like the Gatling plasma shines is it has like a beam splitter type of thing on it, which shoots multiple, I don't know if y'all can see that, it shoots like multiple projectiles at once, and when you have a full commando setup, you're able to just lock it in. So these are very, very good without vats, extremely good without vats, let's just say that. But with vats, they are also really good. So, if it was between this and the TSC uh, Tesla, I would definitely have to go with the laser rifle. If y'all can get y'all's hands on the laser rifle for a commando legacy, oh, it's amazing. Plus, you can switch out the gun from being just a commando build to a pistol, and it still has explosive effects and all that stuff. So, this is absolutely insane, and it just tears through anything in its path. Oh, super mutant behemoth! I've taken out your family, and now I'm here to take out you. We're gonna attack him without vats and then with vats. That is what it does to him without it. Boom, with it. No chance, guys. Onto the Scorch Beast. 
It seems that every time I spawn here, we always get that Scorch Beach just sitting right up there. But again, let's see if we can get him to come down. Hey, 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 hey. We're over here. We're over here, Mr. Bat. Go for the head. Go for the head. Oh, my gosh. Look at that, guys. We just de we destroy destroyed him. In I'm speechless. We just destroyed him in one clip. That did way better than TSC, just, just so y'all know. And next weapon on my list is the Bloodied Explosive Cryolator. This one also has a plus 250 damage resistance while reloading. Pretty unique gun. I like it. It's really unique with the explosive effect because instead of just shooting out ice, it shoots out explosive bullets. I, I really like it, but it's not the strongest one out of the legacies. I can tell you that right now. It definitely does not hit the hardest to the mobs or anything like that, but in PvP, that frost damage is absolutely amazing. But... Let's get into the demonstration. See, it doesn't, it's, it doesn't kill them as fast as the BEs or the TSEs or anything like that. But it is definitely very valuable. It uses the... De like, who has a, a ranged cryo? Like, look at this, guys. Ranged cryo. And these guns are amazing against bosses. They won't do the best damage, but it sure does slow down the Queen or Earl or any big target, honestly. I, I mostly use this for VATS because my VATS helps out the damage a lot, but all in all guys, this is a this is a legacy and it's awesome. It's a very unique one, so if you're out there and you want to become Mr. Freeze himself, be looking for these cryo guns. Now let's test it on a behemoth. There he is. Now again, this is not going to rip through him. Okay, apparently it is. I was not expecting that. It's way stronger than I thought. That's insane. That was on a behemoth right there, guys. And here's our Scorch Beast, guys. Now, the best thing about this is it's going to slow him down tremendously. So if you're fighting the Queen and you have one of these, it will do the same exact thing. And it slows him down so people can just freaking lay into him. Again, this is not the strongest legacy, but it's very, very unique. And it, like, again, with the exploding bullets, that how far they go. Oh, my gosh. We're getting swarmed. You're able to hit targets that are flying with it, so it's absolutely insane. Look, she don't even know what to do. Alright. On to the next weapon. And our next legacy on the list is the Bloodied Explosive Gap Plas. It also has the third star, the plus one perception. But in the Heavy Gunner build, guys, we are not going to have any Heavy Gunner perks. The only thing we're going to have is Stabilized at three and One Gun Army at three. That is it. Other than that, this is all... Just a legacy damage. It's absolutely insane. And let me show you guys. You can do it in vats like that. But the way you use these is supposed to spray. You want to spray because each of those projectiles cause explosive damage. And so when you get them going like that. Oh, it's insane. The damage is like, it's ridiculous, guys. Now, I would say that this is probably the strongest out of all the gap plazas. The explosive ones. But someone's probably going to say the TSC or something like that is. But I think the bloody explosive ones. It's absolutely insane. And if I was a heavy gunner build, I would definitely be maining it. But I'm not. So, on to the behemoth. Now this poor behemoth, I almost don't even want to wake up. But he already heard me and... Goodbye now. Just like that, guys. Legacies are broken. But we've all known that. On to the Scorch Beast. There's our Scorch Beast of choice. Let's see if we can't get her to come on down. Or kill her before she does. One of the two. Insane, guys. I'll even hit her with the vats. Let's see. Oh, oh, I can't see you. Get over here. Ah, oh, screw the vats. Just like that. I think that worked even better than the BE laser. And again, we have no heavy gunner perks on, guys. It's insane. On to the next gun. Next legacy on the list is the Vampire's Explosive Gatplas. This also has a third star of the plus one agility, but I am also going to be running this gun full health. I'm going to show you all its healing capabilities, guys. Take some damage, and I'll also show you all how hard it actually hits these guys, too. So, Hello, Super Mutants. I would like you to lower my health, please and thank you. You want to lower it? Use your low explosives. Yeah. There you go. Get that low. Get that health low for you guys. Get that health. Super duper low. You're ugly. You know that? You are so ugly. And, and your breath stinks. 
You hear that? Your breath stinks. Oh, oh no, my health is my health is getting low. Oh no, maybe I should do something. Okay, here we go, guys. I shouldn't have stim packed, but still. <laughs> I'll get the gist of it. You become invincible with the gap class. The vampire's gap class, that is. Keeps my health. Oh, oh, I was about to say, that's a perfect target. But then I destroyed it. This also hits just like any other legacy. Super duper hard. Super duper broken. And let me kill him and we'll move on to the behemoth. And here's our little behemoth, guys. I'm going to let the super mutant do some damage so I can show you all a little bit about the gap class. So, do your thing. Do your thing, sir. I deserve this. Oh, oh my face. My face. Do it again. Oh, I deserve every bit of this. Especially after what I've done to your family. Oh, Oh, my, my back. Oh, it's okay. I'm fine. All right. My turn. Boom. Full health, and again, he is destroyed. Just like the mutants before him. On to the Scorch Beast. And our lucky Scorch Beast on the list. Boom. Oh, you tired? You want to fly away? I don't think so. That works very well with these guns also, guys. So don't forget that. But mostly, they work better if you spray them like that. We love the extra projectiles that explode for us. They're the best parts of the legacies. On to the next gun. Next legacy on our list is only two-star, but it's our two-shot explosive napalmer. Other words, known as the two-shot explosive flamer. And this is also one of my favorites because I'm just like a pyromaniac. But this one does a am crazy amount of damage. It works perfect in VATS. has an amazing range, guys. Like, it Let me see if I can find someone. Let me see if I can find someone to hit, hit with that range. Like, look at that. Insane. 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 They don't stand a chance. This gun's super good against PvP also. If you have an explosive anti-armor one, oh my god. You are going to be slaying. We haven't yet found the best ways to defeat Fire and Pyro, but we will eventually. Now again, these are tearing through all these guys. Legacies are broken. On to the Behemoth. Alrighty guys. You know, well, we'll give him some love taps to wake him up. Hey man, you need to wake up, you're about to get roasted. You ready? You ready? Boom. That's insane guys, these Legacies, I can't say that enough absolutely insane guns insane power oh if you can get yourself one of these i would recommend at least getting one that way you can experience the power of the legacy onto the scorch beast now there's our toasty bat for the list oh 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 is he gonna make it out are they all gonna make it out no they are not guys again these are legacies they can no longer be dropped in the game guys and if you enjoyed the Fallout 76 content, make sure you're smashing that like button. Subscribe for more Fallout 76 content. And guys, I shall see y'all in the next one. Peace.